and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Kyrian Funsmith, our next meme tier deck. Uh, Puppy looked pretty excited about this one. She jumped up here <laughs> to check out this deck. But basically what we have here is Shurima PNZ, where we have a Funsmith deck. So all of our spells and skills are going to do extra damage. And combining that with a bunch of fun champions, we're going to have a couple Zillions, Ezreals, and then a Hymer and a Vi at the top end. Um, but we'll have a lot of cards that'll do extra damage, like Static Shock, Spirit Fire. You know, like now this will be round end deal three to me, which there's so many three health things in, in Legends of Runeterra. That's a big difference there, so that's a good buff. But of course, going to combine Funsmith with Iterative Improvement, so you can choose Funsmith and put another one into play with the plus one, plus one counter. But another card that's great with Iterative Improvement and um, and Funsmith is going to be Kyrian Sumpworker. Because, of course, if you can get the Sumpworks Posse in play, attack deal one to all the enemy stuff, well, a Funsmith in play, make that too. That will add, you know, add an additional point to that. So attack deal two to everything. That's really cool. For some card advantage, we got some Preservariums in here. Um, and then also a Ruinous Path, because that's going to drain two. But, again, if you have... Um, if you have Funsmith, it's Drain 3, right? So we get to Drain 3. So have playing that over the third Preservarium. Now, the one kind of sad thing is that your Time Bombs that are doing all this damage, they do not get added on with Funsmith. Funsmith only deals with spells and skills, and this doesn't really count as a spell or a skill. So that's still going to only do one damage to everything, but that one damage to everything will um, help. Um, you know, like that, all the damage adds up, and that will just make like your Static Shocks better and make everything else in your deck better couple hourglass for protection because we have a lot of things that we want to just sit and play ballistic bot sump worker um you know zilly and ezreal like all of these things are real and funsmith even all these things are really good to protect and so we have a couple of ancient hourglass to protect them and that's going to kind of be it so uh let's go ahead and get to it so we're going to go play five games over in normal this was a nasher deck okay zoe draven Oh, we're playing against Turn 1 Zoe. Turn 1 Zoe's always here in, in chat, hanging out. Turn 1 Zoe's cool, dude. All right, so we're definitely keeping Zillion. And I think we just keep Funsmith as well. But they're going to be... This is usually a really aggressive deck. And so keeping a four-mana unit against a very aggressive deck may not pay out for us. Okay, you, you added in Zillion into the Turbo Thrall deck that we've been playing recently. Cool. Alright, let's get the Time Ball. Or let's get the Predict. Oh wait, so I already have Iterative Improvement with one Sump Worker. Let's get it with another. All right, so we're going to try to copy these sump workers. Uh-oh. All right, that's a lot of damage. Just a moment. I'm going to block. Well, still less damage than not blocking. Thermogenic Beam, why are you so slow? <laughs> A little Zoe high. And I'll just get the attack in right now while it's doing the one damage to both of those. Seems like the right time to do it. Draven is back. Hey, I am superior life form. 
Maybe should just play Preservarium here instead of Ballistic Bot. Draven down. Okay, so two Dravens down. It wasn't me. Three Dravens down. So do they have anything in their deck that's not Draven or... Ooh, there we go. I was going to say, do they have anything that's not Draven or Zoe? And yes, they do. Can you improve perfection? All right, another Sumpworks Posse. Wow, Claws. Yo, that card is wild. Don't blink or you miss me. Good thing I kept this Funsmith in my opening hand. Stop bragging if you could back it up. So of course we're trying gonna try to make a mystic shot. Finish that thing off. definitely die right here we could definitely die if they got like just a whole bunch of pump spells on this thing i could press a varium and try to draw like a mystic shot Ooh, right in negation i don't know if right in negation is going to counter anything i guess we'll just pass and have right, right negation just in case Whoops, not you. you. Just in case of like whirling death or something. Just we have three health things to block anyway. See? Like whirling death. Surprised they're not spinning axe. You know, using spinning axe to get another point of damage in. I'll just save spell mana. With drawing extra cards, we may need that spell mana. Sounds dangerous. I'm in. Can't stop me. A little adjustment for a lot of pow. Firing. Neither one of those have overwhelms. So they're not like the scariest things, but we get double, you know, <laughs> kill both of them and draw a card and level up Ezreal. It's just too good to, to not play. Okay, that's the scary card. We get to draw an extra one. They don't have any cards in hand. Oh, Whisper Words was perfect. Great draw. They could kill me. This is going to be close. It's going to be real close. Did that Whisper Words find something? Oh, yeah. I don't know why I'm not blocking with the Ezreal. That's 4 health. I, I forgot the Ezreal was 4 health. I should have just blocked with that. Yeah, I was thinking three health as real. <laughs> Haven't I been here before? I just have to keep Ryan Negation available. Time. 
Good game. So close. We're only one... Like, they were only one point away from killing me. Yeah, if they would have used that other one. I knew we had it all along. But I knew we had it all along. That's true. Great game. Hey, <laughs> yep, sorry, turn one Zoe. <laughs> GG's. No, no turn one Zoe, no win. Yep, that's how it goes. Well, GG's, my man. That was so close. Alright, aggro. We're gonna keep a bunch of removal and zillion and static shock. Let's keep this life total high. Maybe get a time bomb. An ancient hourglass, a spear of fire, or another zillion. Okay, it's not hourglass. Spirit fire is probably too expensive. It's really zillion or skip. Are y'all y'all like spirit fire? Did I, freeze time, I guess chat's like in spirit fire. Yeah. We could take spirit fire. All right, we'll just skip. If we get a spirit fire, cool. If we don't, we'll find something else. I want that thing to be one health, of course, because of Static Shock. Gonna find a gift for an action, right, Arda? That hunter is not does not have any mercy. Why would you not attack with both of them? They're fearsome. Maybe they forgot about fearsome. I reckon I'm not ready to reckon. Out here, you're moving, or you're dead. Forgetting is death to an immortal. Yeah. Rune Runner is awesome. Rune Runner is a tough one. Oh, fearsome. I had to kill something first. Ruin Runner is real good. Wish we didn't have both ride negations. Yeah, both those. Actually, I should probably actually. Oh, yeah, you know what? I should hit the Merciless Hunter, shouldn't I? I've been kind of focused on like the static shot killing the, the spell shield. I should hit the Merciless Hunter and then try to kill the Merciless Hunter and the other Reaper.
get that death. That's perfect time for that decimate. This Ruin Runner. Yes, Merciless Hunter. Perfect. Perfect card. Do I want... Do I want to just make another Merciless Hunter right now? Or do I want to hold up? I probably need to hold up Ride Negation, don't I? Yeah, I probably do. I could make an, a Bakai Reaper. Should be a 3-3. Three, three. That grows. Yeah, that's that's the bad part, right? Like we draw two right negations against aggro, and then we don't get to right negation to decimate. That was definitely not good. We just have to hope that they draw spells like, you know, fervor and decimate right now. Like that's maybe that's what this card is. That's what we gotta hope. Okay, I like it. Um, doesn't stop. Like basically. They have two cards to kill us. Like, Darius kills us. Rune Runner kind of kills us. I'll do better this time. <laughs> Draw. So it is. Destined to die. I gotta hope that's a spell I get to ride negation. Because if it's a... If it's a spell, we win. Right, because we just ride negation and then open attack and ride negation again. So actually, so we should be good now that they didn't play anything, you know, they didn't play a rune runner or like anything good to attack. Should be game over. This Bakai Reaper card's amazing. <laughs> Iterative improvement, this thing. Like, look at how big these things are. They cost one. That card is amazing. Especially, like, in our deck. Man, maybe we should just be playing that card. Talia Lissandra. All right. Get our landmark on. I think I have one Aftershock in here. No Aftershocks. Never mind. That was the other the other deck. The Victor 3000. I, that one... Yeah, we had an aftershock in that one. Um, you're gone. The rest of these are pretty good. They make an 8 8 overwhelm. We can turn it into a 9 9 for us. <laughs> or we can just, you know, have a 5 3 next round. A lot of ways to deal with that. We love it when they run. Don't blink or you miss me. Oh wait, because like there's a really good chance that I need to make a eight, you know, like make a nine nine. The oasis of the dawn flows again. Using a good amount of cards to, um, you know, just protect this Lissandra. Yeah, 
Yeah, because they do have these 8-8s. Eight which are pretty big, so I'm probably going to want a 9-9. Nine -nine. Fantastic. I didn't like just like passing and just wasting all, all of this mana though with like these cards that we have in hand. I didn't like that option. Oh, this thing doesn't cost one, it costs eight. Right. Why was I thinking this cost one? Because like these things cost one. Oh, see, that's what I was saving that iterative improvement for that thing. Uh, yeah, I should I should have just made this Sumpworks thing a five power elusive. Definitely just raced them with that. All right, well, lesson learned. Also, great hand opponent. You know, they had the second Draklorn, second Lissandra. You know, having the turn one Frozen Thrall also. You know, so good hand opponent. Good, good game. Yeah, don't even get. That would have been a 6 1 elusive. Embrace the calm. Yeah, alright, well. Messed up, but I don't know if we win it anyway. I don't know if we actually outrace him. Great hand opponent, GG's. Oh no. Yeah, I should have just had him turn 3, had the sump worker. I'm um, saying oh no because Draven Ezreal is a great deck. It's a one that is really, really tough to beat. Spiritfire, like the worst card in our deck in this matchup, but except for if we have Funsmith, because Funsmith can make it real, because all their things have three health. The, so the Spiritfire usually doesn't do anything, but Funsmith can help. Time for a true display of skill. Wait, they can't make. Can you improve perfection? I guess they have they they gotta have rummage right that's their plan get to draw real cards it's a good plan okay good they're just playing that not rummage So basically, I don't want to play Funsmith, and then they kill Funsmith immediately. So I'll just pass. Give me a weapon, I'll give it firepower. System upgrade. Rise, metal brethren. Prime and ready. Do it, row. Let's get that VIP. They do a lot more with creative cards than what I do. It's hard not to play this card just because they, they know about it, of course. And 
then I'll save spell mana. Well, at least they have multiple house spiders if we're going to have spirit fire. That's good. We love it when they run. Need victims. You're dead meat. I hope this block's worth it. Not sure exactly if it will or be it w you know if it will or be worth it. Um Cool. Well, like always with this deck, so like we have stabilized, so now it's kind of like the Captain Farron check. Have they drawn Captain Farron? If so, we're in a lot of trouble. If not, we're looking pretty good. That's right. Run! So we're going to just give them the floor first to play it if they have it. In which case, I would have their one giant beam for it. Yeah, that was a great, great spirit fire. Getting rid of two house fighters. All right, draw some cards. Zillion time bomb. They drew into Ravenous Block. That's got to mean they have another Ravenous Block, right? Out of those three cards. That's what that's got to mean. All right, Nunifer. Thanks for hanging out today. Take care. It's Draven time. <laughs> this is a tough one. Mystic Shot or Heimer. It's not easy. Because Heimer is like a way that we could actually win the game. Mystic Shot just kind of plays a little bit more defense for us. <sighs> That's not easy, though. We already have like these things that like help us win the game. So Heimer does kind of clog our hand with those. We don't really have much defense left. So I guess I'll just take the Mystic Shot. Because, yeah, we will kind of refill our hand also. So that, that's that kind of is another reason to take the cheap card, I think, with the Mystic Shock. Because we're going to draw more cards. So maybe we can unload a bunch of stuff. Let's boogie. What now? Assume they use a Spinning Axe. Time for the money makers. <laughs> <laughs> Battlesmith. Draven I'm not out. mad at that with that thermogenic beam. Or sorry, with that tri-beam or popular. I'm not mad at uh, getting that out of their hands. Okay. Don't blink or you miss me. Ezreal. Boo. Oh, we got Heimer back. Check me out. I thought you'd never ask. So, uh, how do you get that kind 
of volume in your hair. The electrical current is an aging safety equipment, my boy. I don't make them for the show. Four out of six here. They can discard a card with Spinning Axe to kill either of these, but I'm, you know, like, yeah, so it's like Thermogenic Beam would have killed something anyway. So I'm happy, I'm happy with that. Sure. Of course, I guess I would have had Ride Negation for that, but that's fine with me. No way. All right, draw a card and drain. Cool, another Zillion. Definitely countering that. I should have put put this turret out first. Um. Oh, we got we got plenty of mana. Never mind. We're good. Okay, we got plenty of mana. Do not let them get that seven drop. All right, and this is looking good. That'll do. All right. Sumpworks Posse getting it done. We've had some really cool games. Deep. Okay, let's go deep. Yeah, Preservarium is so good. Draw two for two. Even if you have to wait a little bit on the second, still really, really good. Now, I kind of want to just simply keep all this. I'm going to. Plan is Thermogenic Beam to kill Maokai. This thing, copy Funsmith, because they don't have like lots of removal. I feel like a couple of Funsmiths can do a ton of work. Like double Funsmith. Um, you know, have like Mystic Shop for like Jaw Hunters. That'll help clear that thing up. Could easily this could be too greedy, keeping <laughs> you know Funsmith iterative improvement, trying to have double Funsmith. But double Funsmith, on the other hand, is also really sweet. One hand, way too greedy. On this, the other hand, really sweet. So they passed to me and let me play that. I should have passed the turn as well. Should have played. Shouldn't have played that. Should have passed the turn as well. I, I used played it because you know like the one spell mana, but I do want to keep my spell mana available right here because I'm very scared of Maokai. All right, so not Maokai. Then this would have been able to do four damage to Maokai. So I'll just pass. I mean, it should still add the one damage to it. We're getting set up. Setting up the offense. I, yeah. Yeah, because it because it does three, because Thermo does three, but then it does. Funsmith says do an additional point. We're getting our offense set up. Yes, yes. Haven't played much defense yet. But we're getting there. Man, iterative improvement on this thing could be so awesome. I just hope they don't have Devourer Depths this round. 
Okay, no devour adapts. Does like toss everything for them. But that's life, I guess. Alright, well, they're deep. So that means they're gonna have a lot of devour depths, which are gonna kill all my stuff. Which is gonna be pretty sad. Maybe they just play Nautilus this round, though? It's like, those are the two options. Devourer and Nautilus. Ooh, going after Heimer. Interesting. We're going after Heimer. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. Yeah, deep super scary. I assume this thermogenic beam will deal one damage to the sea scarab at zero mana. My assumption. Give me the stuff. Uh, me. That saves them. Getting that extra blocker. I really hope save them. I mean, they're still dead if they don't have anything. So I'll put him to three. I think I'll let that happen. Saving that thing isn't very important because it, it's not like I need another attack step. I should draw the card first with Preservarium. I really just need this. I need this Ballistic Bot to survive. Like, that's what I need. And looks like it will. Awesome. Perfect right of negation draw. And that's going to be a 4 and 1 for Kyrian Funsmith. This deck felt really good. That was awesome. Fried Gold. Hey, a big fan from YouTube coming on in. Catch a meme tier Monday. Welcome to the stream, Fried Gold. You came in right at a nice time there, seeing that victory over deep. I liked our deck quite a bit. Kyrian Funsmith. Getting that 4-1 hype. This was this honestly did feel really good. I liked this a lot. I liked having like the the, the different champions, right? Because like sometimes you really want a Heimer, but you don't want like tons of Heimer dingers because you don't want them getting stuck in your hand. But um we talked about how like we're playing Vi here, but maybe maybe Nasus, because we are Sharima, you know, basically to control the board. Like Vi has the challenger and can take down other champions and other big stuff. That's why it's that's why it's pretty important. Um, but I could see it just being Nasus because of how good Nasus is um, instead of Vi. 
the spirit fire came in clutch multiple times or yeah i think multiple times yeah i came in clutch especially against like those house fighters but then you know like merciless hunter is just amazing we just have like lots of good cards and like the funsmith honestly plays really well getting that extra damage in with a lot of stuff preservarium is just amazing with those extra cards um you know ruins path did its its job of just healing a little bit getting us some extra cards the one game i lost you know i wasn't i my opponent had a really really good um frost, frost guard thrall hand they had a great thrall hand and i didn't go super aggressive with the sump worker i just messed up my improvement i don't know i i was thinking like the the 8-8 was gonna be a one mana 8-8 I, I messed that all up um that was the only game that we lost who knows what would have happened if i would have gone like turn three make a sump worker but yeah, Zillion did good. You know, putting some time bombs in the deck and getting the predict. The predict was nice. And just the 1 4 body early to block. Like, that was really nice. And then Ezreal getting the free Mystic Shots. Yeah, really cool deck. Everything worked out. And then the Riot Negations came in clutch multiple times. So having Deny in these regions also really came in clutch. Um, yeah, so I liked it quite a bit. All right, so there we go. There is Kyrian Funsmith. So those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and feel free to leave those comments. Hopefully y'all enjoyed this one. I could definitely, like, I definitely think this is a deck that's good enough for ranked. Uh, as we saw, we we're taking down some good decks with this one. Um, so yeah, this one could maybe be even better than at meme tier. Um, but yeah, another another Kyrian deck. All right, but anyway, uh, yeah, leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck and other deck ideas for meme tier days or anything else like that. I always appreciate those. But thank you so much for watching some Kyrian Funsmith, and I'll see you for the next video.